it is cellar clean out day. We have been talking about putting a cold cellar in for maybe two years and our fridge just broke. And so now we are without a fridge in our kitchen. We have one in the barn and I'm trucking up and down getting what I need and Brooke just doesn't quite understand but I said if we are going to put a cold cellar in then there's really no need to buy another all-in-one fridge we really will just need a mini fridge and so I'm testing it out I have a little cooler up in my kitchen and it's our birthday weekend and we always do some crazy project and this is it this is what we're starting we have the panels from a friend of ours he purchased a house and the previous owner used cold frame panels for sheds. I don't know, maybe he picked them up free, but our friend saved us a few panels. So we got those for free, we got the door, and now the labor of <laughs> cleaning out this cellar because we've gone through a few water heaters that have just been down here. It's a big project, and maybe it's just <laughs> the weekend project of cleaning out. But here's to nothing, right? Here's to trying something we've been wanting to do. Larger walk-in cooler for all of our ferments, all of our canned, not canned, because that's preserved, but all of our home-cooked meals, all of our preserved meats. Let's go. of putting this cooler together. It's our birthday. Yes, we share the same birthday, so we do some crazy things for our birthday projects. And why not put in a cold fridge, right? And so Brooke is downstairs. We have all the panels in the basement. Let me tell you what, guys, that was a workout. They are heavy, it's awkward, but they're all in. And so Brooke is putting it together He's finishing up the things that he doesn't need my help with and I am ordering the cool bot the cool bot is a little attachment that you hook into an air conditioner and it trips the circuit so that it can dip below into those lower temperatures to create a cold storage and a walk-in storage for pretty much anything I mean you can hook it up to a trailer um, if you have like a, a meat cooler that you take to farmers markets you can do what we're doing and insulate a section in your basement or pantry, uh, so a larger area to make a walk-in. So I'm gonna order this CoolBot. There are two styles, just the regular style, and then there is the CoolBot Pro that is Wi-Fi capable for $50 more, and you can set up an app on your phone that lets you know if anything goes awry. We're not doing that. Brooke said, no, I'm not hooking up to Wi-Fi. So we're up and down these steps a lot. We are, I mean, we're home most of the time. And so we're just gonna do the regular CoolBot. It's $350. We're gonna get a new air conditioner. And then my plan is to get a mini fridge just to keep in upstairs with creamer and milk and some of the staples that we use for every meal. Phase two, 
of the walk-in cooler. So we got this in in one weekend. All put to place, got the air conditioner in, spray foamed it, but now we got to, now we have a little bit more work to do. So we have to chisel off all of that spray foam, put the air conditioner in place, spray foam it in place, and paint this and get the shelves up. So that's phase two. Once we do that, we're gonna get it working and we're gonna put our summer harvest in here. We have a cool weekend. It's right before June and uh, the radishes are already done. I already have them fermented in jars. We need a place for them to go. So everything's gonna start coming in in abundance and the purpose to have this space was to put all of our ferments, all of our summer harvests, to you know, eat fresh or to store up for, for winter. So we have quite a bit of work to do and our goal is to have this done by Monday night and it is Saturday afternoon right now. So let's get working. Did it. It was all finished by Monday. We had a long three-day weekend over Memorial Day weekend that was cool and rainy and we said now is the time let's get it done. So we finished insulating meaning you know uh, spray foaming all the little cracks and crevices to make sure all the cold air stays in this space and when I say we I mean Brooke. Um, I helped him chisel things out, clean it up, and then he finished the shelving and finished um, spray foaming the air conditioner in. We got it up and running. It's working, it looks a little sparse, but I know by the end of summer, it's gonna be full. And so right now, we're thinking of an organizational system because <laughs> well, this is a really big space. So we're just kind of throwing things on the shelves and um, <laughs> coming down here and grabbing what we need, bringing it back down, and yeah. I'm afraid that things are gonna get a little out of hand, so we do, I did find a little mini fridge. I don't know how Brooke feels about it. Um, but it just, is, it comes in handy. A little mini fridge just to keep the necessities, butter, condiments, creamer, some milk up there, um, and it's working out. So come back, I will show you a full tour when it is completely finished, but right now it's working, it's functional. So if you were inspired by this, uh, this tutorial, this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. And I hope that this inspires you to go do something crazy, amazing in your home, on your farm, on your homestead, um, because it's just one more step towards self-sufficiency and it feels so, so good.